you all. Now, the front page of The Independent on Sunday revealed yesterday that a staggering 71% of British people want to see our forces withdrawn from Afghanistan within a year. And as government critics argue that we're fighting an ill-conceived and ill-judged war, journalist Liz Jones, whose father served in the Second World War, argued in the Mail on Sunday that the public should not muddy the memory of soldiers by debating the rights and wrongs of their presence overseas. She said, soldiers are not politicians, they do not choose where they are sent, they do not question their orders. But should they? Should soldiers be able to opt out of wars that they simply don't believe in? Can you pick your battles? I don't think you can. You know, we are at war, and, and that is a fact. Nobody, nobody in the world wants to send anybody out to war. But they are there. And they, the thing is, in the Second World War and the First World War, we knew who our enemy was. Mm. Now we have got no idea who they are. I think that's the difficulty with this particular war that we're mm -hmm. waging right now over there, is that... You know, the Second World War, the First World War, bombs were dropping on us. We yeah. knew that we, we needed to defend ourselves. Somebody and, actually declared war. Yeah, yeah and we were you invaded know, and, and our lives were under threat and our men went out and, and, and they, they defended our country and mm. we ran the country and, and life changed considerably, but we knew what we were fighting for. It was visible, tangible, and this doesn't feel tangible. But soldiers uh, aren't politicians. No, they're not. They're, they are, they're out there But for, if for you us. lay down your life mm -hmm. for your country, should you not believe... And, and be informed as to what it is that you're fighting for. Do you think for one for. minute our soldiers in the First and Second World War thought they believed in what they were doing as well? I think they believed that they, pro they were protecting the, 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 the country a soldier, and, the, and the women and the children back home. Absolutely. A soldier is somebody there to protect Queen and country. Mm. And that's all they do. And that is what they sign up for. And yes. they know that. And, mm. you know, I was on Saturday, I was with um, a lot of war widows. I was with the Forces Children's Trust, <laughs> uh, I do, and, you know, with the children as well. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to, to talk to them about it. But, you know, from the, from the women who have... Oh, by the way, I've got to say hello to Pip. Hello, Pip, who couldn't make it on, on the day, which is, which is a shame. But big hello to Pip. Um, you know, you don't get a chance to talk to them and find out exactly what the politics of the soldiers are because, frankly, most of them are really proud to be serving their country and that is what they sign up for. They know that. And if you have, if you have an, a situation where you've got soldiers who can say, well, I don't agree with that war, so I'm not going into it, You've got no army. You know, what is the point of, of having the forces if they can pick and choose what they want to do? But, you know, you know that, that most of them, are, they can't wait to go out there. They mm. can't wait to, to actually, you know, mm. serve their country because they know when they sign up, that's what it is. And it's a job for them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, well, they is, do, they respect the people that tell them what to do. You know, whether you agree with it or not, and for the record, I don't agree with the Afghanistan war, I never did, or the Iraq war. Um, but I don't think, I don't think either is, uh, that you can just pull people out just mm. like that when when you've started something, no. you've kind of got to finish it. Is there not an argument, though, um, that it is a human right for you to choose whether or not a cause is worth your life? And if you vehemently disagree with it, have you not got the right to say, I'm not doing this? But you can't... know that when you sign up, though. Oh, exactly. You can do that by not joining the army. Yeah. That's, I think that's the thing. If Jake sat me down and said, listen, Mum, <laughs> this is what I want to choose. I want to choose to go in the army. Okay, I would say, look, it's an, it, you do know, you do understand what you're choosing. You may die. You know, that, that wouldn't be my choice for him. But if he, uh, he and I sat down there and said, well, listen, you know, we have the choice, Kate, then, you know, you can't go there or you can't go there. But, you know, let's see, maybe go there. It just doesn't work. And it's just, I do, I think they know what they're I, doing. I know they're what you're saying. You know, they know what they're getting I into. know, and it's very idealistic to say that you can mm. pick your battles. Yeah. But if it was my son... Yeah going out there to fight. I would, like, I would like to be a little better informed as to who and what and why we are fighting because I feel that we are not as informed as we maybe could be. And I understand the issues of, of national security. Mm. I completely get that. But, but I would want to know that my son was not going to die in vain. And I it. think in the First and Second World War, you were absolutely convinced of that. Because these people we were fighting were for freedom. Yeah, we were, and we're not right now. And or now are we? We well, don't know. Well, no, because you've got politicians who keep changing the story. You know, and it's, it's they're the people that you just can't believe and you can't trust. But at the same time, you can't demean what the army, or the soldiers are doing at, at the moment. I mean, no, but we're the doing politicians, that. you know, the Afghanistan war. First of all, it was about um, national security and, and trying to prevent terrorism. Then they said it was about um, something else, and now it's about immigration. They don't know what it's about either. Precisely. Carol, if you walked outside this building now and you asked everybody that you encountered. What are we fighting for in Afghanistan? What is it about? People are utterly Most confused and dumbfounded as to an answer. Well, fighting for democracy, they were, but they can't have a demo can't have democracy there. They've only got one party now. You know, there's yes, all sorts of. It is national security. But the Iraq War—that was a lie. It's national that, security for this country. 
don't forget, but we how, don't how? know who our enemies are. This is what how you have to remember. It's then? a different, it's different, spicy. completely different it's, thing now. How do you, you know, know war God, against an enemy you don't know exists? Thank God we've got them out there protecting us back here because we'd be in a Absolutely. solid state. And the job that they do is commendable, remarkable, and I take my hat off to them. But to give a human face to this to this war, there was there's some quotes today in the press from um, Olaf Schmidt's um, widow. He is the incredible man that disposed of 65 bombs and, and was, was killed in action. She, she was the most dignified and composed woman. When, when his, his body was returned to the UK and he passed through the streets of Wharton Bassett, she si silently applauded him. It was a remarkable image. She says today, um, his last conversation with her, he said, I've only had a couple of hours sleep in four days. I'm so weary and homesick and I just want you. I need you. It's just too much now. It's too long for me. She says that Two, two men arrived at her door and she'd had this kind of premonition the night before that he was calling out for her to help him. And she said she screamed out of her bedroom window to them, just tell me he's lost all his arms and legs but that he can still talk to me. And that to me is the human face of the loss that we encounter day in, day out. And I take my hat off to men like that. I truly do. I just wish I knew why I was fighting.